Hello, so this is the Global Climate Strike Owen Sound edition. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Yeah, oh, I uh, had a uh, I was going to submit an application for Bicycle Friendly Owen Sound. I was supposed to do a community consultation, so uh, I can stop by the bike shop sometime and get you guys input. Sounds great. <laughs> Hi. Good. How about you? Nice to see you. I'm fine. Awesome. Do you mind me asking, because I saw a gentleman riding a bike for free. Oh, that was probably me. Was it you? You were flying then. Oh, okay. Can you explain the significance of green tea? So it's a uh, green religion. Um, kind of, it's a combination of Buddhism and science, because the Dalai Lama said to include science. And so uh, basically right now we're in an age of peace. Um, it's about 2005, based on hypnotherapists such as Dolores Cannon. And uh, all we have to do to see kind of the new paradise, the new Eden, where the climate is sustained and uh, we have, you know, forest gardens and things like that is, um, well, the main thing on a spiritual level is to have forgiveness and compassion for all beings, including ourselves. So what got you interested in that approach, in that faith base? Uh, well, uh, when I was 12, uh, my dad told me that I needed to learn how to relax. And uh, I, I learned about meditation as a good way of relaxing. Okay. And so, and then you just increased your learning? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. My name is Carol Nursing. I'm a counselor here. Oh, okay. And so I'm interested in all of these things. Oh, great. So, so I so want to get down. down. Oh, yeah, city councillor? Okay, because there's different kinds of councillors. <laughs> I should have clarified. Oh, that's all right. I still that's true. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to be you are the bike, are you the only one? Over uh, so, well, we have a, there's community meditation, which is uh, in the Quay Tannery, yes. Tuesdays 7 till 9 p.m., yeah. and then I'm doing a forgiveness and compassion meditation at the Harmony Center, second Saturday of the month from 10 until 12 in the morning. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I'm always good. And I, yeah, I, for sure. I saw it and I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh -huh. That's wonderful. And it's, um, it's been kind of verified that kind of the reason, the purpose of life is learning, you know, because we're always learning and growing. And, uh, and things keep changing. Yeah. I mean, they just don't stay the same. Yeah. Even though some people want to do, they just don't. Yeah. Well, some and things. And every, every kind of thing, um, kind of altercation that occurs is an opportunity for more compassion. One that, of is, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> I always find it challenging though when people seek altercations and going to Oh, I hear you. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it, they may be seeking something else, you know, I like attention so. or... Oh, there's so many different reasons. Right, and that's part of the compassion, kind of being in their shoes and seeing what they really want deep down because, you know, we all want unconditional love. And acceptance. Yeah. And acceptance, exactly. Yeah. That's part of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's delightful to speak to you. It's delightful to speak to you as well. Yeah. You take care. All right, you as well. Mm -hmm. so we're trying to get city council, Owen Sound City Council, to uh, acknowledge hi there hi. that we have a climate emergency and a climate emergency plan. Did you sign this before? Yes, I did. I thought yes, I did. Uh huh. Supportive honking. Yes. Yeah. Great. <laughs> That's our. Uh, never mind. <laughs> That's supportive clothing. Thank you. Thank you. We want to keep the whole place that color. Oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I wear colors. It's great. Yeah. It's um. It's 
about uh, green religion. Uh, so, Dolores Cannon um, and Dr. Chet Snow did a bunch of uh, hypnotherapy research on people, and they found that there were two main timelines that we were going to go into, either uh, where there's like the climate collapse and uh, we, everyone has to live in domes because they can't breathe the air, or uh, there's the uh, kind of the new Eden where when you go out of your house there's like trees and shrubs with all the fruits and nuts and leaves that you need for your sustenance. Um, and the main uh, difference is kind of a spiritual vibration. So the anger and fear vibration kind of goes to the older where it's collapsed and then forgiveness and compassion vibration goes to uh, the newer. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd prefer the second scenario. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and as, as a pagan walking outside and seeing the nature, it's a whole lot better than going yes. outside and exactly wearing a you know sounding like Darth Vader. <laughs> exactly, and, and that that's that's where the whole compassion and love comes in is is, is loving and embracing the uh, the nature around us. Because if we plant their trees, you know, of uh, the fruit trees and the shrubs and things like that, then we will create our own new. <laughs> have, you, kind of have you seen on the internet the, um, the several people in India that just started planting trees every day and how they've got the wildlife back, how the forests have come back, how the air has improved, oh, yeah. how the streams started to run again yeah. because of trees. Yeah, it's true. So I used to get called a tree hugger back in the 70s and I'm proud of it. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally, I, I completely agree with you, and, and that, um, and, and actually NASA's found that over the last 20 years, the Earth is greener, mostly because of plantings of trees in India and China. Even though they, they're, there's a lot of hype, the fear about Amazon being cut down, but there are other places where good things are happening. Well, if you look back <laughs> even 10,000 years, which isn't yeah. very much considering our histories, when the uh, Sahara was green, Wow, that was a loud one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when the Sahara was green. Yeah. Okay? And it's what's considered monetary value of goats. And goats can go up trees and denude them. Yeah. So then you need something different as a monetary bartering system than goats. Yeah. Okay? Goats True. are fine in a lush environment. They don't do that much damage. Mm -hmm. But in an area where they're pulling up the roots because they have no top teeth. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So they pull up the roots in sandy soil, uh, and yeah. the desert grows. Yeah. So. Yeah. Have you heard of the uh, the green belt in uh, the Sahara? They're, they're, they're oh, they're working at yeah. Yeah, they're working on it. They're working on growing it. Exactly. Yeah. From That's, the south, I think, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, from the south. Yeah, because yeah. they're kind of halting the expansion of the Sahara using the green belt. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> Perfect. It made me cry. Yeah, so. I hear you. I hear you. And it's, it's wonderful. And just focusing on these like good things that are happening and helping create those good things will help ensure that uh, you and those near you uh, experience the new Eden. You may not be able to change the world, but you can change yeah. your corner. Right. You, but basically how uh, Dolores Cannon found the structure of reality, it's similar to what those physicists have found in string theory. So it's not just the three dimensions that we see plus time. There's multiple dimensions of time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
would like to give a land acknowledgement, otherwise I can do so. So as we begin this event, we acknowledge the history, spirituality, culture, and stewardship of the land by the Indigenous people of this region, the Saugi and Ojibwe Nation, and the Three Fires Confederacy, namely the Ottawa, Potawatam, and Ojibwe Nations. We seek a new relationship of respect, peace, and right relations as we live, work, worship, and strike on their traditional territory. We are mindful of broken covenants.
<laughs> okay, we're gonna dig one level crazy deeper. So um, these guys are gonna loop the chorus again. We're gonna start with the melody, and then I'll just sing one other harmony part on top of it so you can hear it. And I'll sing one other harmony part on top of it after that so you can hear that. And then if 90% of you sing the melody, that's so beautiful, but if a crazy few of you out there want to sing a harmony part, you've heard it once, so you'll have it no problem. <laughs> Let's just try it. So uh, on the melody again, and uh, and then I'll start to layer some options. All right. Water heals my body. Water heals my soul. When I go down, down to the water, by the water. <laughs> the Climate Singers, Owen Sound Edition. All right. The song's called uh, The River. I'll try to sing really loud. <laughs> the River. I'll, I'll just I'll change the melody. I'll forego the melody and I'll sing up high so you can hear the words and I'll try not to mess up the words when singing them with a different melody. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the River is a healer. The River. <laughs> Water heals my body. Water.
we're working as hard as we can and we're really inspired by you for being here today and for taking time out of your day to, to push us to act on this really important issue. So, um, I don't know, does any, I'm looking at some youth that I know, maybe some of them want to say something? Anyone? That's okay. This is a mess that your parents and grandparents and great-grandparents have created. It's really wonderful you're here today to, to help mobilize us to act for you. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that, you know, when I was growing up, we didn't even talk about climate change. When I went to do my undergrad, I was in environmental sciences, and it was something we talked about in class, but we weren't really hearing very much about it. And, it, and then within the last 10 years, it went... It was a conversation around, is this really happening and are humans at all responsible for climate change? And now we're talking about, well obviously this is a human caused issue and we need to act now. And I thought it was heartening when I was making my notes for the talk today that when I googled um, climate, global climate strike, I got 237 million results. So things have changed. So, so there's hope. So here we are today. Um, I don't know, do you guys feel like doing some chants maybe just to, to send our message loud and clear? That's kind of the most fun part about a rally. Oh, unless someone has something to say. Is there five minutes to do a song? Or do we need another song? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's some singers here who already know this song and they want to do it, so I'm feeling pressured. Come on, you guys, if you know it. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. So there's two parts for you, and then there's a middle part that I won't take the time to teach you. I'll just do it. So it goes... Where's my, where's my guys? Come and... Come, come. Oh, Liz, you know this. Here comes... Um, I forget her name who wrote it. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. How does this work? Is it better without? One voice, one heart beating. We are one world, one voice, one heart. There's actions. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. So that's the first part. That's the first part, it's easy. The second part is for the higher voices. It goes, Yeah, I can do it. We are one world, one heart beating. We are one world, one heart beating. Try it. We are one world, we are one heart beating. We are one world, one heart beating. Again. We are one world. together. The middle part is what made me think we needed this song. The, the, the words for the middle part is, everybody living in this world, everybody got a voice, let's use it. Everybody living in this world, one part beating. So let's put those two parts together and I'll come in with the middle. So we, I'm going to start at a tiny bit lower. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. We are one world, one voice, one heart beating. We are one heart beating. We are one world, one heart beating. We are one We are one world, one We are one heart beating. We are one world, one heart beating. We are one Everybody living in this world. Everybody got a voice that we are one Everybody living in this world, one heart beating. One 
politicians feel comfortable with their decisions. So we need to give them the social license to act and take leadership on this issue. It has to become a situation. They need to know that they have to act in order to be elected and to stay elected. So I think that's what we're doing today. That's what these rallies are about, is saying we're the numbers are too great to ignore, and we need action now. Four, four.